it's felonious and I've got a problem where do you put the two labels retro or old I'm not totally sure where I should start but let's do it with well let's do it with music to me retro has always been those old 75 RPs uh, RPMs uh, records we call them stone cakes here in Sweden because they were heavier than most and they were used in backlight or something like that to me that was retro that's really back and that's old but now suddenly retro also is CDs yes a CD an old CD from the 90s that's retro no to me that's not even old yet but it is it is actually old it is now suddenly 20 years old um, so where do we put it we do have our vinyls still going around but vinyls are both retro and old and new because there are new vinyls coming out even printing old ones so I'm not totally sure where I could put those ones cars in Sweden have a very easy way of dealing with this they are either um, insured for classic cars or they are not insured for classic cars and I think uh, I think the age should be 30 years old so anything from 85 and older they are not insured they are insured for classic cars and are called classic not old not retro <laughs> nothing like that well you can call them nostalgia of course and I wish there was something like that for other stuff the reason is what do you do with computer games I mean the, the game we are playing mostly is five years old it's not old to us because it's always new every time they do an update but it's getting there it's actually getting there it's getting old it's using Java Java was good when it was new but it's not good or is it and then we go backwards a bit um, anytime you can't play a game on your Windows 7 8 or 10 computer the game becomes old it becomes obsolete as well and useless and that's not good because many of my games that I still want to play I don't want to change machine in order to do it but I have to of course I have to now I have been calling those games retro if they are like 10 years or more but then I had in a discussion with another guy about Scott um, and they say well retro that's 8 bits 8 bits is retro rest is old and it sounded so logical when he said it yes the Nintendo NES system that's retro that's when you started back in 85 86 that's 30 years but I played <laughs> 8 bits almost 10 years after that and still do actually and that's, it's not really retro to me but on the other hand there are no, not coming any new titles for the NES system but then I look at Steam and find myself looking at pixel, pixel games that looks exactly like the 8 bits are they coming back again or is that some sort of retro feeling giving me an old feeling of something that is old and thereby not playable now I'm totally whimsical and the same the cloth clothing is probably one of the worst things because most most clothes are old it's like one year old but they can be retro and they can be nostalgic and they can be second hand there's a lot of things that can be should we or should we not have both terms should everything be old after a bit of well let's say five or ten years or should we have retro thinking I'm, I'm not even sure that I have the definition fixed for myself is there anyone out there who can help me about this that would be nice it's it's not really a must but it's interesting I feel 
Thanks for watching. No, thanks for listening. <laughs> Bye.